Hey, this is Professor Perez. Today, we're gonna work on inequalities. But before we get started, we need to get out our student volunteer, Charlie. He better be ready to go. Hey, Charlie, ready to go? All right, let's get to work. Right there, inequalities. Now, pay attention, Charlie. Here's a symbol. It looks like an arrowhead pointing to the right. Well, there's a reason for that. This symbol is translated to a word statement as is greater than. But there's a reason it's pointing to the right, because it's referring to the number line. This symbol can also be interpreted as is to the right of on the number line. Now watch, Charlie. Negative three is greater than negative four. Is this a true or false statement? Well, that might be difficult unless you know how everything are arranged on the number line. So let's look at the number line. Charlie, is negative three to the right of negative four on the number line? Yes, yes, this is a true statement. It is true that negative three is greater than negative four because negative three is to the right of negative four on the number line. Okay, Charlie, zero is greater than negative one. Is zero to the right of negative one on the number line? Yes, that's right, so it is a true statement. Okay, Charlie, is two to the right of five on the number line? No, so this is a false statement. Two is not greater than five. Two is actually less than five. Okay, how about this, Charlie? Is negative two to the right of two on the number line? Nope, nope, so that's a false statement. Negative two is actually less than two. So let's look at the less than symbol. Here is a less than symbol. Notice, it looks like an arrowhead pointing to the left because it's actually referring to the number line. So is less than can be interpreted as is to the left of on the number line. So let's take a look at this problem here negative three is less than negative four. So is this true or false? Well, let's look at a number line. Charlie, is negative three to the left of negative four on the number line? Nope, it's not. So this is a false statement. Negative three is actually greater than negative four because negative three is to the right of negative four on the number line. Okay, Charlie, is zero less than negative one on the number line? Nope. So that's a false statement there, right? Okay, Charlie, is two to the left of five on the number line? Yep, it is, so that's true, very good. Now, negative three less than three. Is negative three to the left of positive three on the number line? Yep, so that is a true statement, very good. Now, here we have another symbol. It includes two things. It's an arrowhead pointing to the right, but notice we have a bar on the bottom. That little bar on the bottom represents an equal sign. So greater than or equal actually means is greater than or equal. So you have two choices. So let's look at a number line. Three greater than three. So the question is three is greater than three. And Charlie, is that true or false? False, it's false. Three is actually equal to three, right? Is three less than three, Charlie? Nope. Three is in the same location as three. <laughs> so if you're asked three is less than three, is that a true or false statement? You would say false because three actually equals three. But what about the statement three equals three? Well, that's obviously a true statement. Right? And how about three greater than or equal to three? Now remember you have two choices, so you gotta think twice. First, is three greater than three? Nope. But is three equal to three? Yes, as long as one of those statements is true, then the answer is true. So is three greater than or equal to three? Yes, it is, so that's a true statement. Less than or equal to, notice you have the arrow pointing to the left, and your other choice is that bar which represents the equal sign. So that symbol is less than or equal to. So Charlie, here we have a problem. Negative three is less than or equal to negative four. Is this true or false? Well, is negative three to the left of negative four on the number line, Charlie? Nope, no it's not. And then negative three does not equal negative four. So in both cases it was false, so this statement is false. Zero less than or equal to one. Okay, Charlie, is zero to the left of one on the number line? Yes, yes. Does zero equal one? Nope, but because we have one of them being yes, our answer is true. So it is a true statement because one of the statements was true. Three less than or equal to three. 
Is 3 less than 3? Nope. But is 3 equal to 3? Yes. So you fulfilled one of them, and one of them is true, therefore 3 less than or equal to 3 is true. Again, you have two choices here. Is 0 greater than 0? No. Is 0 equal to 0? Yes. So one was a no, one was a yes. With this greater than or equal to, you have two choices. As long as one of them is a yes, your statement is true. It's a little tricky there. Now let's look at these variable terms. C less than A. Well, unless you have a number line, you cannot determine what the answer is. So let's have a number line here. Now, Charlie, C is less than A. Is this true or false? Well, is C to the left of A on this number line? Nope. Nope, according to the number line, C is actually greater than A, so the statement C is less than A is a false statement. Okay, Charlie, B is less than or equal to D. Remember, there's two choices here. So, Charlie, is B to the left of D on the number line? Nope. Nope, okay. Is B equal to D on the number line? Nope. No, they're not in the same place. So this is, again, a false statement. Zero greater than D. Now, Charlie, is zero to the right of D on the number line? Yes. yes, because zero is greater than D. That's why it's to the right of the D. And so that would be a true statement there. Now, negative two greater than or equal to three. Now, this is not a number line, Charlie, so simply ask yourself, is negative two to the right of positive three on the number line? What do you think, Charlie? No. Nope. And negative two does not equal three, so both cases is a no. Therefore, this statement is falls. So think about inequalities on a number line, and that might make it easier to determine if the statement is true or false. Anyway, that's enough for today. We'll see you again soon.